quiz time viewers, you're on an island in the middle of an ocean, and there's no fresh water around. So do you or do you not drink the water from the ocean? Simple answer, no. Nearly everybody knows this by now, you just don't drink salt water. But why, if you're on the verge of death, will salt really kill you? Why can't we drink salt water? Before we look at salt water, we need to look at human blood. Our blood has a salinity of 9, which means that there's 9 grams of salt in our blood for every 1,000 grams of blood in our body. Anything with a salinity of 9 is considered the same as blood, and is called isotonic, while anything over that number is considered hypertonic. Salt water happens to be hypertonic by a factor of almost 4, and that's a problem. You see, our cells are semi-permeable, meaning that certain things can pass through them. Water is one of those things, which can be a good thing, but in this case, it's not. When you ingest salt water, you're increasing the salinity of your blood. Your body tries to counterbalance this change by moving water from your cells to your blood to try to diffuse the concentration of salt. This process is called osmosis. Because less water is in your cells, they shrink, and well, that's not good. On top of shrinking cells, salt water really messes with your kidneys. Human kidneys can't produce urine with salinity equal to that of salt water, so when you urinate, you have to use lots more fluids to flush out all that salt. The problem here is that the water needed to flush out all the salt is more than you ever took in from drinking the salt water in the first place, so by drinking salt water, you're dehydrating yourself. And once you dehydrate yourself, you experience headaches, decreased blood pressure, dizziness, fainting, and eventually death. And that's why we can't drink salt water, you'll die. But on that cheery note, I should say that little bits of salt water or salt won't kill or hurt you, so you can still use it on your french fries and stuff. It's not gonna kill you. But if salt is all you eat or drink, it's gonna be a problem, so stop doing it. But in all seriousness, you guys, you shouldn't ever have a problem becoming dehydrated from salt water because you shouldn't ever be drinking it in the first place. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. Now you guys, today's video was a little shorter, but it was because I was playing around with some different stuff in PowerPoint. I just figured out, which is kind of silly because I've used PowerPoint my whole life, so I don't know why I didn't know of this earlier, I figured out that you can play around with transparency and removing backgrounds from stuff, so if you guys noticed in today's video, I started overlaying some graphs and some pictures on other pictures, and that was mainly what today's video for me was more about, just playing around with that, so hopefully I can bring that into more videos in the future. But I hope that you guys learned something, so once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.